Welcome back awesome Asteroid fans and subscribers. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I do have a Marvel Legends here. This is Hercules. There is no bath, which is Thanos' head because I didn't want it. And I found this without it, so it was a lot cheaper. Uh, I really like the look of this figure, that's why I've got him. If you look at my videos, you can find the Marvel Universe Hercules review. Uh, and he was pretty cool, but this one looks so much better. Um, it says in the back, an immortal champion of Olympus, Hercules uses his immense strength to battle evil and protect the world. Just some cover art on the side, same on the other side. The back shows uh, the bath and the other figures in the line. But they are artwork, not actually pictures of the figures. Okay, let's get him open and let's have a look at what he's like. I do have other, I actually have a complete set of a uh, Spider-Man uh, Builder figure Sandman Marvel Legends, but I've never opened them. Okay, so he looks cool, has this nice sword, he has spare hands, and he has this sort of big chunky mace, which is quite firm, very basic. Paint it up, and that will look a treat. That is really quite nice. Add some paint to that. Sword. Yeah, nice and substantial, and also stuck in my plastic. Oh, okay. Again, you'd probably want to add some paint to that, make it more effective, but it looks good. And I like the way the blade goes wider and then tapers here. Uh, spare hands. So these are gripping hands because his default hands are Hulk smash are fists okay on the back I can see straight away that he has a place to put his sword and his mace which is great he can put them in there okay face sculpt looks fantastic um, head looks really good Body looks great. The paint app for like doing the hair on the chest and the stomach is pretty cool. Uh, nice looking sculpt. Feels like it's good quality. Uh, obviously this part will come off. The face part is glued on. So I wouldn't be taking that sort of leather looking part off. So let's have a look at his articulation. It's going to have good articulation in this girl. He has his left and his right. He has his a little bit down and he has his up which is not bad but looks a bit strange and he has a quite a good side to side uh, shoulders mm -hmm. that's pretty damn sad really, isn't it he only gets not even up to the 180 because the sculpt of the muscle gets in the way let's turn his arms around and let's look at his elbow bend double elbow joint but he needs it with a sculpt and he gets over 90 degrees which is pretty cool. Wrists just turn on these hands. Oh, I tell a lie, there is articulation, but I'm not sure why. Maybe he wants to pose his bicep a bit like, like that. Yeah, but it's okay. He has the ab crunch, so he gets really nice. Bend there, uh, he has a turn in the waist. Ratcheted, which is really nice. Hips, nah, not great, but it's, it's pretty, it's okay. Falls backwards is pretty cool. I I wasn't expecting it quite so far back, but the sculpt is quite uh, generous there. Double kneecap joint, so he'll get relatively tight. And that's ratcheted, ratcheted again. And the ankles. Oh, sorry, I'm missing off a couple of things. He has a thigh swivel, and there is a boot swivel. Ankle. Yeah, that's like really like it. Prima ballerina there, right on his tippy toes. Um, forwards, he's doing a hardcore Michael Jackson. Look at that, that's like really, really good articulation there. Um, there is the swivel side to side, which is cool. And the boot turn, which I said earlier. This is a really, really nice looking figure. Uh, let's see how his sword fits in and how his mace fits. Bit stiff, perhaps. The mace is the funny thing because if you put it like that, handle first, how is he going to pull that out? What, by the blade? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. And you can't put it in blade first. The only way you could do that 
is to go handle first upside down. But that work, even that wouldn't work. He still couldn't pull it out. You know, like, uh, to push it down. So a little bit strange there. Um, but I, having the uh, option to put it in is pretty cool. And it just goes behind the sword there. So it'll give you a nice sort of X look there. Okay, let's have a quick change of the hands. And then see how he holds his weapons. Should just be a pop out. Very nice. And the bracelets do come off. Okay, so let's get his mace out again. And his sword. Okay, they are mirror image hands, it appears. So it shouldn't matter which one goes away. Fingers are stiff, but they've got a, quite a good bit of give, so it'd be easy to get his uh, weapons in without worrying about breaking his fingers off. Because I really, if you watch my channel, I can't stand stiff fingers and toys. Like, get scared it's going to break. He holds these really well. He can do some really nice action poses, I should hope, with his articulation. Come on, let's get you posing the way I want to be posed. Okay, so easy to pose him. That's a very quick, simple pose, but quite effective. He is a really, really nice looking figure. Now, obviously, this is the big, the uh, it's a six, seven inch scale. I can't remember what it is. I think it's a uh, Six, one, two, three, four, five, approaching seven inches, uh, which is bigger than the normal scale that I collect and review. But I do like this figure a lot. There's actually a few of the Marvel Legends that I'm tempted to get, and I probably will in the future if I can pick them up at a decent price. But this one was cheap because there's no bath, and I got it in China, which made it a little bit cheaper again. So I am really happy with this figure. He is fantastic. I like this a lot. To get a chance to pick one up, if you don't want to get the bath, then try and get one cheap because this is a great, great looking figure. This is the Marvel Legends Hercules um, that just came out just very, very recently. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.